I'm Bianca, I'm Chris Bubich's sister, and this is my debut story. The day I found out um, was actually, I was in clinic for one of my rotations as a fourth year medical student, and my brother called me, which he usually never does in the middle of the day. So I picked up the phone, I was like, oh, why are you calling me? It's like nine o'clock in Arizona. And he was like, oh, I have some news for you. I'm gonna be pitching at Kauffman Stadium. And like, I knew he was already there for like the 60 man roster. Um, so I was like, oh, okay. So you're just pitching like in a practice game. And he's like, oh no, I'm pitching in a real game. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was a little bit surprised. I mean, I think he was a little bit too, but like surprised in a good way. The emotions are probably a ton of different ones. Um, you know, it goes from being anxious about like watching him pitch for the first time and with all these crazy good baseball players and then also like happy for him too because this is something that he's wanted his entire life. So as a sister, you know, I'm doing my own thing, but it's great to see like my brother accomplish what he wants to do in life. So here he is, Chris Bubich, and of all of his impressive numbers, had two minor league stops last year. Monty, it was the 185 strikeouts which led every minor league pitcher at any level. Christopher has always been different from the pack. He's always been fun and loving when like when the right moment, but when it comes to like his sports and like what he wants to do in life, he's always been pretty professional. Just since I've, you know, since I remember him being a little kid, he's always taken every sport very seriously. And especially baseball when he started pursuing it more in high school and then into college and now into the professional leagues. He's always been professional and he always, I feel like sometimes he's a little bit more mature than me at times, but he's always been great at what he does. So I commend him for that, for being so young too. My mom, um, with the luxury of her job, she's able to work from home even before the pandemic. So she'd always want to help us, you know, as much as possible, whether that's for me for medical school or my brother for his sports. I think it was just difficult for him to find places to work out, places to, you know, find a field, like all of his usual places where he would go back to, whether it's his high school or his college were shut down. So he needed someone to throw with, and a lot of his friends were not in the area. So my mom's just willing to help out if necessary, not every time, but um, whenever she has a free moment. I grew up, I was always four years older than him. So it was kind of nice to have a little baby brother to go attend all his sporting events um, as a supportive sister. He was pretty active in all sports, uh, basketball, soccer, and baseball since he was little, and then he picked up football in high school. We would go to sporting events together as a family in the Bay Area, whether that be the San Francisco Giants, the San Jose Sharks, San Francisco 49ers. So that would be a way for us to bond together as brother and sister. I know he has a lot of fans in the Bay Area that would love to come out, his family and friends. So it'd be great to have like the stadium experience because I feel like that's something that's missing from all the debuts that happened this year. And, you know, just to see him with the fans because he loves pitching in large stadiums with tons of fans cheering. So just to see what the outcome would be of that would be great to see his sister. He's definitely ready. Um, he's always been super competitive and he's always trying to get better even now. And I talk to him almost every day and He's always thinking of how to improve and how to get better. He's also went to, you know, a D1 baseball school where they take baseball very seriously and they were in the top 10 for a few of the years that he was there. So he's always in a competitive mindset and never one to like want to lose a game. But I think it'll be helpful for the Royals because he's fresh, he's young, and he's open to, you know, being different and changing things and improving and whatever it takes to win. I know he'll do that.